Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, do you know what we're doing? Yup, you guessed it right. Pain Encounters. Yup, bye. All right guys, we are gonna paint my kitchen counters. I've already done the majority of the work, but we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do counters with DIY paint and Iron Orchid Design Carrera Marble Stamp. Open up, shut it down like a bag of Open up. It's my YouTube channel. It's my YouTube channel. Actually, it's mine. Talk it up with Lisa. If you've never done this before, do it. It's super easy. Look at great how great she did my hair. She braided it for me. No, it looks really bad. I know, that's the point. I painted my counter six years ago and I never sealed it. We were going to put resin, like the bar top resin. Um, I got a, a whole kit at Lowe's, I bought it and we were supposed to take the sink out and just go ahead and put a good coat on it and it was gonna be food safe and awesome and glossy. It was gonna look like a real stone and it did look awesome. But we never got around to it, it got burnt out. And so um, over the years, this is where I prep, this is where I cook the most and just cleaning the acrylic paint wore off. So there's like a band here and here. So all I did was I grabbed some primer and it's actually spray primer, and I sprayed it right here and here, and of course you shouldn't do that in the house, but I did it anyway, because um, that's just how I am. So I did that, so that's really white right here, and of course I put white paint over it. Um, so I just kinda wanted to explain that that's what happened here. These are not gonna be permanent counters, we're actually gonna get new counters, but um, I wanted to try this technique, and I wanted to have it pretty for Thanksgiving, and I did the majority of the kitchen, but this section, I never, I didn't have enough time to get to it because of sealing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll seal it. And then after um, it dries, I'm gonna leave it alone for a couple of days, maybe just one or two days, just because of the amount of water. So right here, I took a foam roller and I applied beadboard. It's a really light coat so that you could still see a semblance of what I had done prior because I wanted that depth and dimension. But you don't have to do it that way. You could apply really generous coats, maybe two to three coats if you're painting over uh, a pre-existing counter that's a little bit darker and you want it white. It'll just depend on the color that you choose. my YouTube channel now. So basically, what you're gonna wanna do for this process is you're gonna want a brayer roller. Brayer? <laughs> brayer. Brayer roller. See, it looks like this. And then you're gonna take it. Are you ready to do it yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you're gonna, I want, I want the, you gotta lift this up a little bit. You can't see my awesome face. There we go. You're gonna take it. And I want the lighter. I want I want the lighter gray. So I'm doing lighter. What's the name of the color? Skeleton Gravel Road. Gravel Road. And you're just gonna want to put it on even. Evenly. Okay. And put it on lightly. Just roll it on. And then hold this. Um, then you're gonna do it in the veining. Huh? You have to do it in the, the see how I have yeah. the veins going this yeah. way. I'm gonna put it right here and you just press it really dramatic for what? And you just gonna press it real good. No, not too hard. You just do a little bit. Not too hard, just a little bit. And then you take the sides and it didn't do anything. What did you do wrong? I'm trying again. This is stupid. 
the paint is dry. You can't. You took the. Okay. 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 Let me okay. show you. Let me. No. 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 Let me. Please retry. Please. Okay. So you roll it. And then you just go. You guys are very much welcome to like, share, and comment, and follow, subscribe. It's called Big Bad on here. Right here, actually. Can you? They can't even see what I'm doing. So when you get your IOD stamp, it actually has six pieces. I took out three of the pieces and I put it on the other part of the plastic that it comes with. So it comes like this as a set. And I took these off so that this way I could have a little bit more freedom in the design. And that's what I typically have been doing going back and forth between the gravel road and the letterpress gray. So I just rolled some letterpress gray, it's a little bit darker, and I'm just going to lay the paint on top. And it just helps to have a different pattern, different dimension. And so I'm gonna be mindful that my veins are going this way. I think we um, messed up a little bit and it's turning a little bit on me. But what's great about this is that you, if it bothers you, you can paint over it. I'm just gonna go ahead and not get paint on myself and just go ahead and put this like this <laughs> all right guys so what we have to do is we're just going to smudge this a little bit with a really wet rag okay and so I have this rag it's clean um, it's just been used a lot and so what I do is I just kind of do this kind of technique um, I watched a video with Lynn Brunridge from LNJ goods and I watched several and I really liked her technique. I had used this previously, there's a lot of paint on here. So what you wanna do periodically is go ahead and wipe it down. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll go ahead and we'll finish this up. So because we're using a chalk style paint, DIY paint, it is water activated. And so if I have too much in one area, I can easily wipe it off. So I'm doing just a small smudging, rocking back motion uh, because I don't want to take off the paint that's underneath. And so um, that's what's great about it. And so if you even want to, you could do a thin white coat over it with the foam roller and I showed that earlier on a live I did here and it gives you a really cool technique it still shows the gray veining going through but it makes it a little bit more subtle so you can make this your own you can do this black and white dark gray and then white um, so whatever count your colors your counters are will determine how many coats you have to do of your first coat overall and then you just need a little bit of paint for the veining so i hope that you like this so i've got a little bit of big top left enough to do this a couple coats so what I'm gonna do is um, I have a very little bit amount of white paint in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add my big top to it so what you want to do is get a good even coating without any of your hair in it So, you're not supposed to go over Big Top a lot, 
but I'm trying to make sure that I get a really good coat. And since I am rolling it on, I'm just gonna do that. So I'll put some um, saran wrap on here so that it will stay nice and moist and then I don't have to wash it and I can reuse it. And I definitely want to do that because I'm using Big Top and Big Top is a hardener, it's a sealer. So I don't want to seal my brush. I still have a lot of good stuff in there. So I'm going to seal it up and then I'll go for coat two in 30 minutes. 